Sundays are taken on people who took pictures on their phones and posted them. Yeah, uh -huh. So there's the railroad bridge. I think you can tell Hobart students uh, mess with this by boat. <laughs> the rowing team, the rowing team is down here too. There you go. Yeah. There's the trail. There's part of the uh, waterway trail there. Got ya. Somebody got a little wet there. Oh, your chips got wet. <laughs> oh well. It could be worse, I guess. shoreline there. Yeah. I'm turning it. Isn't this wonderful? So this is how we wrap up our Memorial Day weekend uh, by jacking my water bill up through the sky. So we've got one of these um, crazy inflatable ring pool things. As you can see here, it's like, I don't know, a third filled up. It's a 10 by 30. That should be fun. Oh, let's get this contaminant out of there. Here we go. And, yeah, so I've got that going on because we need that to complement the RV and the boat trip we took today. Um, yeah, we took the boat trip today. And uh, i got to say... 
um, was interesting and uh, fun to some degree and uh, yeah it was uh, something that uh, we really enjoyed uh, it's, you know it was uh, the first trip out was a little choppy because the wind was blowing and uh, we managed to get the boat back in time for a thunderstorm to blow through so we we did make it back without any too much drama but anyway as you can see this is it's not entirely level but that's fine We're, we'll, we'll get it as full as I can and make it happen so the kids will be happy tomorrow it's supposed to be like 90 degrees tomorrow I've got my uh, skylights open where did it go uh, next jobs are gonna be the uh, sway bar rear sway bar still looking for the airlift kit from airlift via the uh, the folks I bought it from from Ronkonkoma. hopefully that'll be here soon and uh, we can finish up uh, painting the uh, the lower skirt and redoing that with a trim because as you can see here the secret place here between the fence and the RV. The fence and the RV. I've got a whole bunch of my stuff spray painted so it'll match all those little end trim aluminum pieces that go on the ends of the of these pieces here which I have to cut so they don't squash incorrectly. I have to cut a V in them and do the same thing up here and just do that to complete these and then I'm gonna go back and as you can see here I've etch primed although I gotta go back and I think I'm gonna grind these out I've backfilled some of these with foam and I'm gonna put a um, fiberglass resin in there but not before I really seal things up so the bondo doesn't absorb moisture and blow things up worse than before so yeah so I did this a while ago um, I did paint this in the same color as the, is this here, as you can tell with 720, but it is that uh, gloss Dover white that I use, that I'm using here, which seems to be a really good color match for the, uh, the body of the RV, and uh, yeah, so it should be pretty cool. And like I said, I uh, had a good boat trip today. I uh, had some fun out on the water. I got myself, uh, hold on, I'm going to try to, got myself a set of lobster arms, as you can see here. Lobster arms! And, uh, not to be outdone, I did it on this side too. Yay, a little bit of Farmer Tam lobster arms. They'll be brown by tomorrow. That's usually what happens with me. And, uh, yeah, I put uh, some sunscreen, but apparently it wasn't, you know, you know, whatever it is, uh, SPF 240, because the sun was out. But hey, not too, uh, not too upset about that. It's good to get some vitamin D, especially in this day and age. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be testing my water heater here soon, and uh, got all this stuff ready to go. Oh, I better step over this. Hold on. Are you? Ooh. Here we go back Oof. got my generator up and running still got to do the choke on that one because it doesn't start up right away with the uh, remote switch and that's because the choke is not a hundred percent although I left a sponge here and of course I had bleach in it and look what it did to my rear hitch point crazy bleached it out white glad I didn't have it on my uh, spare tire cover any case, um, yeah, so we've uh, got the pool, the uh, expensive pools filling up, and uh, but we're also going to be doing some trips to some local campgrounds here um, over the next couple months, because we do want to get out and uh, not stay home, and just do some overnights or one or two day weekend trips around locally just to get out and and uh, experiencing some of the camper life here um, certainly like to do it I think I would encourage anybody else to do that as well and like anything else um, it's always kind of a 
running experiment for us with this, but um, hopefully we're working out the kinks and uh, and uh, giving some good memories to the kids and the family. All right, folks, happy, safe, and healthy RVing. Till next time.